The importance of engaging civil society in the climate dialogues and debates comes from the, stems from the fact that climate change is not just an environmental and scientific issue. Climate change is what affects people in many ways. And the people that are affected are those on the ground, those in the villages, those in the communities that have the highest impact of climate change. So engaging civil society brings to the table the voices and the aspirations of these people that are the front line of climate impact. It is very, very important because governments alone cannot do it. Scientists alone cannot do it. They must do it with the people if it has to work for the people. Many of the decisions that have been taken so far have been, you know, addressing mitigation issues. But the climate change impacts on the continent are, are, are so enormous that we cannot ignore the part of loss and damage and of course adaptation. It is true that the Paris Agreement says 50% attention should be paid to mitigation as well as 50% should be paid to adaptation. But what we see so far is that most of the finances for climate change are coming for mitigation and not for adaptation. We think as the African civil society that the bank has to raise the voice and the importance of adaptation and adaptation finance because that is our main aim or that would be our main campaign for COP27. And I think we're on the same page with the bank because as you heard the president say, adaptation is very important. Even the bank itself has tried to mobilize $25 billion just for adaptation in Africa. This already shows that the bank is interested and is keen about adaptation finance. And we only can collaborate with the bank to raise the importance of this aspect of climate discourse.